Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw a cute Valentine's teddy bear. So we're going to start with the eyes, and we're going to start with two circles, one on either side. So starting on the left, we'll go to the top, and draw a circle to the bottom, and back up to the top again. We're going to go up to the top left corner and draw a circle for the highlights. So we're imagining the light coming down this way. So up here we're going to draw a circle, and we're going to color in everything else in black. Let's move over to the right side and draw the exact same eye. I want to make sure we get it at the same height and at the same size. And we're going to draw the highlight circle on the top left as well. And we're going to color everything in black. Let's move to the center of the face. In between the eyes, we're going to come down just a little bit along the bottom line on the eyes. We're going to draw the nose here. But I'm going to make the nose look like a little bit of a heart. So we're going to start in the middle, draw a little point. We're going to go down a little bit more and just draw another point right below it. We're going to take those two points and connect them to create a heart. So on the top here, I'm going to curve up and then come straight into the bottom line. We'll go back on the right side, go up and then come straight into the bottom. From here, let's draw in a mouth. We're going to draw a curve just below this nose. So starting on the left, curve down, and go back up on the right side. On either end, I'm just going to create these little brackets just to close off the ends of the mouth. These little curves. From here, let's draw in the muzzle area. So it's a little patch that goes around the mouth. So I'm going to bring the chin down to where my finger is, right about here. I'm going to start on the side of the nose here and curve out, and then down to the finger. So curving out, then down. Now I'm going to come down to here. So I'm curving towards my finger. And we're going to go to the right side and draw the same thing. So curving around, down, and then now I'm just going to close this gap off with the curve. Okay, now let's draw the bottom cheek area. So the cheeks are going to be low. I'm going to bring the head pretty high up here. So on the cheeks, I'm going to start on the side of the head here. I'm going to curve out, and then curve in to the bottom of the chin. Do the same thing on the right side. So starting in here, and curve out, and then just start to bring it in towards the chin like so. From here, let's draw on the top of the head. So I'm going to draw this big curve from left to right, and then bring the curve all the way up to my finger, like right here. So I want to make a really big forehead. Starting on the left, and curve out, and start to bring this in towards my finger. So this is the top of the head right there. I'm going to bring this around the same way I did on the left. So starting at the top again, curving around, and then just bringing that right into the side of the head. Let's draw some eyebrows. So I'm going to give them some cute eyebrows that are raised. So above this left eye, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. And on the right, I'll draw the same thing. Give them some big ears. So I'm just going to stuff two big sort of half circles in the side of the head here. So starting on the left side, at the top, I'm going to curve around and just tuck that in behind the head. I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside, just following the outside line, just for the inner detail. Let's draw the same thing on the right side. So starting at the same height, right here, going around and tucking that in behind the head. And then we're going to draw a smaller circle inside for the detail. Okay, now that we've got the face, let's get down to the body. I'm going to have them holding a little heart with two hands, so it's sort of hugging this heart. So I'm going to have to draw the arms in before I draw the heart. Okay, so this is going to be the first one. So I'm going to draw this arm first. So I'm going to have the arm coming around. So starting on the side of the head here, just below this cheek, I'm going to draw a curve that comes in like this. This is the outer side of the arm coming towards the hand. So we're going to do a series of overlaps of the fingers. So up here, we're just going to come up a bit and just draw a curve like that. Now that's the first finger, we're going to draw the other fingers behind it. So we're just going to go up here, just draw another curve. So we're taking that curve and just drawing it right here. And we're going to do that one more time, but we're going to bring the top of the arm all the way over here towards the elbow. So just up like this, and then just over. Let's draw on this arm here. So this arm is going to be coming around this way, but I'm going to have it a little bit lower. So I'm going to take that same side of the arm, but I'm going to stretch it down to here. So 
starting on the side of the head, and curve around, and then up. Okay, so you can see that the arm is stretched out a little bit more. I'm going to come up on the side. We're going to do the exact same thing we did here, but just flipped over. Curve the first finger. We're going to come up here, draw a second finger. And then the third finger, we're going to wrap around towards the elbow here. Starting up here, we're going to curve around like that. Okay, so before we draw the rest of the arm in, I'm going to draw the heart. So we're going to put the heart here, kind of angle it. So the center, just like we did up here with the nose, I'm going to put the center point right there. We're going to come down and we're going to draw the bottom part of the point here. So from this point, I'm going to curve behind this chin. So right here, I'm just going to curve right into that point. Then this side, I'm going to curve around and tuck this in behind the arm. So you see there's a little bit of overlap happening here. From here, these are going to come down to that point. So I'm going to imagine this curve coming around and continuing right there and then straightening out right into that point of the heart. This is going to come around this way into the point. So I'm just going to come up and then curve that right underneath that arm. And you can write any message you like in here. Before I get into the body, let's draw the feet. So I'm going to have the feet sort of pointing forward because it's sitting down. So I'm going to put one foot right here. Okay, so let's start with uh, the toe. So up here, we're going to curl all the way around. And start there, curve. And now we're going to come down to the heel. Okay, so this is the heel. I'm going to come back up and do an overlap on top of the toes. So coming up here, I'm just going to do an overlap like that. So it looks like the toes are sort of curved over like that. We're going to draw three circles for the toes. Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a circle here, one in the middle, and I'm going to go a little bit bigger, and then one on the side. And then for the heel, we're going to draw one bigger circle here. This is for the heel. A little patch of the heel. Let's take that and draw the exact same thing on this side here. So making sure we get the same height on the bottom. We're going to start at the top, right by the toes, and curve around, down to the heel. And curve this, and just tuck this in underneath the toes. Just draw those little toe patches. Starting on the outside with a circle. Draw one more in the middle, a little bit bigger. And one more on the end. And then we're going to draw that circle for the heel. Just trying to get that same size. Heel. Now we're going to connect these feet with a curve. So this is the bottom of the belly. So right about here, the curve, the bottom between the feet. And then for the belly, we're just going to come down, imagining these shoulders come down this way. So I'll draw this curve coming down on one side, and then over here on the other. If you want, you can draw a little curve just up here to show the belly and the arm separation. Let's draw a little patch area for the tummy. So in here, I'm just going to trace this outer line. I'm going to imagine this coming around, around like this. And then we're going to come back up and tuck this in under the right side. Up here, we're just going to curve underneath. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's a cute Valentine's teddy bear. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to share your art with us for our monthly contest. And I also discovered this awesome app that you can store and share all your artwork in one place. And it's called Canvasly. You can download the app for free. The link is in our description. I use it with my kids and I think it's fantastic. So give it a try. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.